Uh, what is up, guys? It's Swimmer here, back again with some more Great League action. Uh, today I am going to be showcasing some battles that I was doing on my wife's account, actually. Uh, so I'm going to be using a team of Skarmory, Azumarill, and Bronzong. Uh, so before you go out and, you know, invest in this team, uh, it's not a very well-balanced team. Uh, it's very weak to fire types. Um, if you can't catch a fire type with Azumarill, then you basically lose. And it's also very weak uh, to Alolan Raichu. Alolan Raichu can easily sweep this entire team. Uh, so definitely, uh, especially Alolan Raichu is too common for that to really be allowable, but I still was using it in the placements and had some decent success. So let's go ahead and get into the videos. Uh, so Bronzong is actually a really interesting option in a safe switch role. Um, it has pretty good matchups against most common threats, uh, and it's lots of people don't really know the moveset. So here we come up against a Toxicroak. Uh, I'm going to be dealing a lot of damage with those Air Slashes, and so they bring in Hypno, uh, and I'm going to try and swap on the Charge move. Uh, I don't actually swap on the Charge move, but um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Thunder Punch. Uh, usually people running Hypno in a safe switch role like this person uh, will run uh, Ice Punch and Thunder Punch, so I don't really need to shield any of the charge moves. Uh, gonna go for the Bulldoze here, um, hoping to get the damage, but if I get the shield that's alright as well. So we do get a shield, uh, and then uh, now that I've gotten a shield, uh, I'm going to shield myself. Um, since I'm double resisting the confusions, I know that I can get off quite a bit more damage. So going for the Psy Shock here, um, hoping this time to actually get them to shield, because uh, it would not be enough damage to take them out, uh, and they do shield. So that's really good for us. Uh, and then they're getting it off one more punch. I can safely mirror the shield here because uh, they've gone two shields deep. And then try to under tap. I do not do the under tap right. You, terrible terrible mistake on my part, but fortunately I don't get um, burned for it, and so we're able to take out the hip now. Uh, and then in comes Alolan Raichu. So this is basically game over for me. I'm not sure really what play I have. So I come into uh, Skarmory and go for the Sky Attack right away. I need to get as much damage onto this Raichu as I can. Uh, and then they switch into their Toxicroak. So this is not really very good for me. And I, I go for the Hydro Pump knowing that Ice Beam won't finish it off, but we see MP Tie and the Sludge Bomb comes in to deal a ton of damage. Uh, I'm able to get off the Hydro Pump, but this is just gonna give the Raichu um, enough energy to farm me down. So they are able to farm me down and then it's likely gonna be double Thunder Punch coming in here to take out the Skarmory. So there's one Thunder Punch, and sure enough, um, here comes the second Thunder Punch. So the Alolan Raichu is able to take us out. Uh, and again, like I said, this team is incredibly weak to Alolan Raichu. It's not a very well-balanced team. I'm just restricted in what I can use uh, on this account. Uh, so close match, but definitely um, not good for me to see that Alolan Raichu coming in. So here we get an Altaria on the lead. Uh, this is actually much better for us. We're going to be resisting all of the moves that Altaria has access to. So I can just go for a Sky Attack here. Uh, this is going to be dealing nice neutral damage to Altaria. Uh, they do shield, so that's good. I don't need to shield this Sky Attack. It's not going to do very much damage. Uh, and then they are going to switch out into Charizard. So this is great. I see their Fire type. I can just come into Azumarill uh, and farm all the way down with Bubble. Uh, I don't need to shield this. Dragon Claw, Blast Burn, Fire Blast, none of it would deal very much. It is a Fire Blast, which is definitely interesting. Uh, but I'm going to be able to go all the way down with Bubble. And then I make a mistake here. I should have just Ice Beamed whatever was coming in. Uh, but I wait to see what it is. And that combined with my next mistake is going to cost me. So able to Ice Beam, they shield. Uh, here, I didn't under tap again. I had the Ice Beam. And I overtapped, so I didn't get to um, throw it. So that cost me a ton of energy on Azumarill, but it's okay because I can bring in uh, the uh, Bronzong, and he's going to be doing a lot of damage with Confusion. Uh, going to shield the close combat um, and then go for the Psy Shock, but my opponent is actually going to surrender there because there's really no no play for them at that point. Um, 
Skarmory and Bronzong would e easily be able to clean up that match. So jumping into match number three, we come up against a Melmetal on the lead. So this is not great for me. Uh, I'm going to swap into Azumarill right away. Uh, not going to shield this first Rock Slide. Uh, they definitely didn't have enough energy to hit a Thunderbolt. Uh, and then going to shield this second one. I want to keep some health and I want, I'm going to bait them with Ice Beam uh, and I want them to shield as well. So uh, because they might be more likely to shield if I've shielded myself since they won't be giving up a shield advantage, I do want to, um, that's why I dropped that first shield. So they switch into their Azumarill. I'm going to go for Hydro Pump uh, and then get out of this matchup um, after they drop a charge move on me. So building up some energy here, they drop a charge move, uh, and I'm going to go back into my Skarmory. Uh, the reason I'm going into Skarmory is because that Melmetal matchup is not favorable for Skarmory at all. So I want Skarmory to be able to do as much damage um, as he can, not against Melmetal. So able to land the Sky Attack here, we get a shield that's very good for us. I'm not going to shield because uh, they uh, are running Ice Beam and Play Rough as their set. Uh, they definitely didn't have enough time to get to Hyper Pump there. Uh, and then they bring in their Altaria. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Sky Attack here. Uh, this is going to be dealing a fair bit of damage. And we're going to be able to get to another Sky Attack before that Altaria gets to their own. So dropping the Sky Attack now. Uh, this is going to be getting Altaria fairly low. And I'm going to swap into Bronzong. Um, this is either going to be Sky Attack or Dragon Pulse. Neither one will hurt very much. It is a Sky Attack, uh, and I'm able to Confusion them down. Um, Melmetal is coming in. This is probably a superpower, so I go ahead and shield. Uh, and the reason I shield that is I know they've got an Azumarill in the back with Ice Beam and Play Rough, both of which will be resisted by Bronzong. So the superpower would be the move dealing the most damage. So Azumarill is coming back in. Uh, and they are getting off a charge move, but I know it's either Ice Beam or Play Rough, so I'm going to be able to survive this. Uh, it is Ice Beam, and now I get to a Psy Shock, and this is going to be taking out the Azumarill. Uh, so that was a really close match. Um, able to overcome losing lead to Melmetal there, uh, sort of through dancing around and getting the matchups that I wanted. Uh, so that was definitely a good match. Um, getting into match number four now, let's see what we catch on the lead here. All right, match number four, we catch a Charizard. So this is terrible. Uh, I really have no choice but to switch to my Azumarill. Uh, however, they are definitely going to switch out, and it's into Meganium. So this is not good for me. Going to go for the Ice Beam. I'm hoping that they don't shield, uh, because I want Skarmory to be able to farm up a bunch of energy against Meganium. Uh, however, they do let it go through, so that's not great for me. Uh, this Frenzy Plant is going to get me very low, and they are able to... Farm me down for energy, so this is not good. I come into Skarmory, not going to shield. Uh, I know that Charizard is going to be a really bad time for Skarmory, so just going to let it go through, uh, and I'm going to farm them down for energy. So I've got a Sky Attack ready. I'm going to Sky Attack whatever comes in, and it's an Electivire. So this is interesting. They actually shield, which is great for me, and I swap into Bronzong. Uh, they bring in the Charizard, and my only play here is just to confusion them down. So I'm going to invest both shields um, if I have to, to make sure that I'm able to confusion this Charizard all the way down. Uh, I do end up shielding two Dragon Claws, I think, which is unfortunate, but it's just fine because confusion deals so much damage that I'm able to take them out with a ton of loaded energy. So now I'm going to go for the Psy Shock on this Electivire. They will almost certainly shield. And they do, and I'm all able to get to a Bulldoze again right away because I was able to farm so much energy. Uh, and this is going to be taking out the Electivire. So really, really um, lucky for me that I was able to farm all that con energy with Confusion against Charizard. Uh, otherwise, I really had no, no play in that match. So good match. Getting into the uh, next match here, we come up against another Altaria lead. Uh, again, this is a pretty good match for Skarmory. Um, they switch out into Medicham. 
Uh, so I'm not dealing super effective damage, but I'm actually going to swap into Azumarill. Uh, and the reason is it's pretty common for Medicams to run Ice Punch and either Power Up Punch or Dynamic Punch. Um, and Azumarill is going to resist all of that. So you can see uh, Ice Punch came in first, then Dynamic Punch. None of it is doing very much damage to Azumarill. Uh, and I'm happy to just go for Ice Beams here, uh, hoping to get shields. But if I get the damage, that's great too. Uh, so I do get the shield. That's really good for me. Still not going to shield. Uh, I'm okay if Azumarill goes down. Um, we're going to be able to get to one more Ice Beam here. Uh, I do a good job under tapping on that one. So that's able to get to that right away. And I get the second shield. So this is great. Uh, and I can swap into Skarmory now and use that loaded Sky Attack uh, to take out the Medicham. So now this is looking really good for me. Uh, I've got two shields, they have no shields anymore, and we've both got um, two pretty strong Pokemon left, or two uh, more or less full health Pokemon left. Uh, they bring in the Azumarill. I'm going to go ahead and shield this. I think it's only an Ice Beam, uh, and it turns out it's a Play Rough, so I didn't need to shield, but um, no point really holding on to them at this uh, stage in the match. Uh, I'm going to be able to... Um, farm down this Azumarill for energy uh, by investing one more shield. So going to shield ag again. Probably going to be another play rough, but that's okay. Uh, because I know it's Altaria that's left in the back, and I'm going to be able to get two, two Sky Attacks, I think. Uh, so Altaria is coming in, uh, dropping the Sky Attack here. And then I, I actually decide to switch out into my Bronzong. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that Sky Attack, and I definitely didn't want Altaria to farm up too much energy. So going into Bronzong is perfectly fine. They Dragon Pulse me. It's not going to do a lot of damage. Uh, and then they actually quit the match because uh, I was just one confusion away from Psy Shock, which would have taken out the Altaria. Uh, so that was a good set of five there. Able to win four. Um, so... This is a team that, um, like I said, not particularly well balanced, uh, but I have been able to uh, go pretty well on this account with this team. And that's the sort of beauty of blind picks is you don't always need a well balanced team uh, to be successful because your opponent doesn't know what you're bringing. So I think I've actually won 46 of 60 matches so far, so far with this team. Uh, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll just actually go down and see. Yeah, 40 of 50, sorry. Uh, so definitely had some success with this team. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.